lets you in on an aspect of the world that you're uh, not normally accustomed to. I could have been a totally different person. Yeah, right now. Since 12 hours ago. Could have been wearing a business suit today. Who knows? <laughs> With a fanny pack. With a fanny pack. <laughs> <laughs> Just classing up the joint. That's a fantastic idea. It's the only kind of ideas I have, sir. It's Corner House Chronicles Day. It's just different enough. And here's the kicker, boss. They're all the same personality. <laughs> <laughs> They're assholes. Yeah. yeah. Just, just <laughs> 1.5 million asshole penguins. <laughs> Best part. I'm going to try and pace it out. So just as you forget about me, I'll just pop in and remind you. There it is. There it is. Episode 54 of the Corner House Chronicles is now in session. I'm John. I'm Jason. I'm Aaron. We are back at it, folks. Whole crew. And this is a very special episode. Do you want to know why? Tell me. It's our anniversary. Happy anniversary. One year. Bam. One year in the game, folks. I had to make it back for this one. Uh, yeah, we appreciate it. Glad you did. Mm-hmm. It's been two weeks. <laughs> Randomly stopping uh-huh. in. This is probably the only episode that wasn't randomly. And for those of you listening, real quick, we would like to just put on the record that Aaron was almost behind the wheel of his car to drive three hours one way to pick up some Jared's mom for tonight's anniversary episode. I would say, wow. But the almost is the part that gets me. Almost. Almost. Distractions. Uh, Life. Life. And, and they, the idea of a three-hour drive one way just to get <laughs> that. Well, the, they have a, a brewery there, obviously, and they have a little you know tap room where you can go and get beverages. Mm-hmm. They weren't open at the time I had to make the decision. You don't know that. I did. Yeah, he was online. I Googled it. <laughs> So they weren't available to answer a call to find out if they had it there, because I would hate to drive. Okay, that's fair. I'll give you that. All the way out there. And then be closed. And that would have made a fun story, or, though. Well, they, even if they were open, and then I can't buy the beer Jared's mom, because it's apparently seasonal. Right. <laughs> so the almost. Thus the almost. So I wouldn't quite call this stood up part two, but the thought was there. The thought was there. And I appreciate it, just your commitment to that one beer. I, You know, I remember when you said, I went around to a couple different stores. I hit four stores today myself. I called about six the last time when we were going to get it. Yeah. What was that, 35? Yeah. Yeah. Or 45? Mm, might have been 45. Wow. You made an effort. 35. <laughs> we'll call it 40. Split the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for tonight's episode, we are uh, we are celebrating by we're celebrating a bit today. Yeah, there's many things. Yeah, where do we want to start? Who can make uh, a trumpet sound? Da, 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 da. There, there you is. go. <clears throat> the Lampies. The Lampies. We named it the Lampies because of the Dundies from the Office, which yes. we're big fans of. We and reference since over it's and the over. The Corner House Chronicles usually corner houses have a street light. Street light out front. Yep, that's how we arrived to the title, the Lampies. It's the Lampies, and we're gonna go with just random selection. Random selection. It's true. Who gets to draw the first number out of the hat, Royal Rumble style? I do. Ooh, I think it should go uh, oldest to youngest. No. Youngest to oldest? <laughs> Middle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's randomly do that, too. That is, There's nothing more random than Well, John middle. has the paperwork in front of him. But so. he did say, I do, before anybody else. Yeah, he, so. he didn't say dibs. And Ooh, you already had. Shotgun. Oh, there you go. All right. Standard shotgun rules. How right. about, how about ahead, you, you no. guys, paper, rock, scissors? Go ahead, old uh, man. I'll let him go. Go ahead, old man. All right, well, then I'm going to pick a, an easy one. You're looking. It Ooh. isn't so random if you're looking. That's true. I know. I didn't want first pick. I just told you guys paper, rock, scissors for first pick. Just pick a number, 1 to 14. 3. 3. Always. Right. Always. Yeah. The most interesting story we've discussed on our show Ooh. throughout the first year. All right. So we should uh, run them through the process of how we're going to do this. <laughs> I think the best way is if Seat we... Our pants. If we all have a, a top three, give your top three, okay. and then we agree oh, on a winner. What if you're not prone to the top three? Give whatever you phenomena. got. All right. 
So number three, the most interesting story that we've covered. Yes. I'll go first. You're Please looking at, you're looking at me funny. I, um my top three, I narrowed it down. Okay. Do you have like top three A, top three? No, B? no, 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 no. <laughs> I kept it legit this okay. time. All right. Just checking, just checking. These aren't in order by favorite. It's just a top three that I came up with. Classic top three. No specific order. Right. This top three. Um I got Rob running out of gas on vacation. That was solid. Trying yeah. to yeah. get back to his cruise ship. All right. Um I got uh Tony on DMT. Dad. Yeah. And then I got Phil losing his thumb. Huh. Okay. Yeah, those are pretty solid. Those are my top three most interesting stories that I was fortunate enough to hear while on the show. All right. You want to follow that or you want me to? <laughs> Age before beauty, so have at it. <laughs> <laughs> Means I'm old and ugly. Okay. Let's well, see. Just Spoiler. The ugly's in Spoiler. <laughs> That's why I'm on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> got a face for it, folks. Man, you had three really good ones. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Set the bar. All right. Three. One is way back to the the uh, the, the, the drunk chick on a horse in Florida. The pre-J time. <laughs> is that what you're gonna say? Yes. Nice. <laughs> the, the, the words right, right out of his mouth. I know. Uh, right. I'm sorry. The, the pre-J scenario. Yes. yes. The the drunk chick on a horse getting a DUI. So either episode one or two. One of the two. I can't remember. Yep. Uh, fucking DUI on a horse. Florida. Love it. Florida. Florida people doing Florida things. Representing. Um, second one is was Tony with the DMT. Mm-hmm. That was an outstanding story. Third one, I'm going to have to go with the garbologist of the story of being a Detroit trash man. Mm-hmm. Take your pick. Yeah. Hobo falling on the roof or sticking your head in a cavity. A one-legged hobo. A one-legged hobo, yeah. or sticking your hands in a chest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Th- those are those are my three. Solid. I was gonna go Copy with uh, uh, <laughs> Tony's DMT story. Yeah. The garbage truck, the hobo falling, not so much reaching into a corpse. Mm-hmm. I couldn't decide between the two. It's tough, but I it, I laughed at the hobo falling and not being dead. Insensitive. <laughs> yeah, I know. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, third, we're. Uh, were, was the story of uh, growing up in Florida and having the crackheads trying to steal a oh, boy's car. Oh, Josh. Josh's car when he's yeah. delivering pizza. Yeah. And they just looked at him like, you can't see us. <laughs> they just sat in the back seat while <laughs> yeah. he was, yeah. That was a great story, too. I that forgot was, about that, that one. That was a good episode. Hmm. How do we decide? Well, uh, there's one only one story. That we all picked. There's one story that appeared in all three of our lists. This is so, true. Uh, if you said majority rules earlier, I did. That kind of yeah, I did. Makes the majority. Pick I'm that with show. that. I'm all with right. that. So our first lampy goes to uh, Tony Vasic for his DMT story. Nicely done, Tony. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> That's for you, buddy. That was it. We, we'd let you come up here and give some words. Some uh, thank you, you speech, but you don't know this is actually going on right now. So he no showed. We invited him. <laughs> should we send a courtesy text? Congratulations on your Lampy Award. We should <laughs> just just a plain congratulations. Print it out and just show up on his doorstep at six a.m. If yeah, we didn't print out the, uh, you've been nominated for a Lampy. <laughs> <laughs> well, season two, season two, we got plans. I don't have to work tomorrow, so maybe I'll just roll up <laughs> after the time. show. Knock knock knock. Get some lipstick, <laughs> go to his car before he goes to work, and just write, congratulations, it's yours. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. He's like, oh, my God. Then later on in the day, be like, congratulations on your lampy win. You're welcome, Tony. All right. Most interesting story. I like it. <laughs> Are you jotting down the winners? I got a check mark. Yep. That counts. If it's not on my list, I'll write it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for award number two. Jay, pick a number Ooh, one through seven. fourteen. Seven. Okay, man, you jump right to it. All right, number seven. Ooh, number seven. This was a Lampy that, that our most recent, second oh, most wow. recent. Yeah. Ah. Who you went, do you, you want big. to find you when you expire? Did you figure Excuse out me. an answer yet? I did pick one. Yes. Oh, um, just for a quick uh, uh, recap for those of you just joining us. Uh, <clears throat> The Bunny Ranch guy. The Bunny Ranch guy. What was his name? Dennis. Dennis Hoff. Dennis Hoff uh, passed away in his sleep while partying on his 72nd birthday. Representative and, uh, Dennis Hoff. Yeah, this right. This is true. 
uh, Ron Jeremy found him. Yeah, they were having a house party with uh, Flavor Flav. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Amongst others. <clears throat> and that spawned the question from Jay here. Who would we want to find us after we expire? I'm not going to go first on this one. You can go second. I want to go last. I got a good one. <laughs> that means you should go first. You got to set the bar. Set the bar. You want me to set the bar? Set, set the bar. bar. All right. You got a one, a two, three. What do you? How many? Don't you say got? Tony just Danza. One? I just got oh, one. Tony Danza. No, no. Damn, we keep I'm going. Like, keep going. Oh, wait, you can't change it. Now. I'm, you can't no, change I'm just going to add it to my number two spot. All right. Go ahead. What do you got? When I die, who I want to find me is aliens. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. And I'm gonna, I'm hoping I'm going to be the first one they find so they think I am the alpha, the the <laughs> specimen of what humanity should male humanity. So should not be. only did you want to set the bar on this question, <laughs> you want to set the bar on humanity for a another go big or go home. Okay. I told you, you should have let me go last. Huh. <laughs> no, I like the bar set high. That's going to make my answer just suck, but all right, go ahead. Huh. Kind of wish I would have picked Sasquatch now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, that's number three. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez, wow. I feel like I didn't really go out of the box on my answer now. He's <laughs> like, fucking aliens. Tony Danza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to say Martha Stewart, actually. Martha really? Stewart. Yeah. Okay. She cleaned you up nice. I don't know. I, just, I think it'd be kind of funny if like, my family heard that I passed from Martha Stewart. They'd be like, why the fuck did Martha Stewart? It'd just be a fun story, I think. Because who knows? She could be walking by. Who knows where I died? Maybe y'all were cooking something. Who knows? Okay. Yeah, I kind of feel bad now. I didn't say fucking aliens, you know? <laughs> you the can Emperor change it of Planet X. No, Sasquatch, if you want, real quick. Oh, I'm not a time-shifting dimensional fucking being. All right, Technically, well. Technically, I guess he could be the alien, right? I'm just saying. Wow. All right. I'll, I'll take all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Anna, yours is very broad. My uh, my answer is not even anywhere close, but I came up Dave with Grohl. it at the very last minute, and uh, it was Tony the person Danza. I wanted to find me <laughs> is whoever is responsible for running the Wendy's Twitter account. Ooh. That's a solid one. Man, mine was fucking rough. Yeah. Just because I think maybe they could tweet something funny about it, and it would go on forever. You know? I don't know. I would. This was a deer in headlights selection, well. man. I was. You did well. <laughs> last minute. I think you picked the winner. Well, I mean, no offense to aliens, but being that Sasquatch could be an alien, <laughs> I don't know. I think it's time to vote. Well, that you're going to be the deciding vote yeah, there. That, so <laughs> ultimately, you get to pick. I mean, we can flip a coin if you don't want that kind of pressure. But <laughs> fuck a you, coin. Give me. You that. look like you were going to say something right before. Give me that bottle cap. Well, no. right before he said what he said, right. I was going to say, well, since yours wasn't uh, as high as a bar as ours. No, I, it was mine was low. I should have You first. should probably pick, and then you didn't pick mine. I'm like, well, maybe <laughs> we should rethink that. <laughs> Good thing I didn't say that out loud. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Text Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting the award? So the top of the cap will be aliens. All right. Bottom of the cap, Wendy's Twitter guy. Or okay. girl, we don't know. Person. Uh, I lost. Do you have any idea where it went? Yes, I do. All right. Congratulations to the Wendy's Twitter guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. The cap will generally, <laughs> the high it's percentage weighted. of time, <laughs> land that way because of the weight. It's not like a coin. Do you want credit for the win? Is no. this one of those, like, I should have put Poltergeist? Or... <laughs> Listen. Can we say that this now? This is the second one I've got screwed up. Can we let of. that slip? Well, he said last time he was here, like, cheater, when I said something yeah. about her winning. You but... edited it out, though. So no. no one knew. Yeah. You did. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, pretty you, sure did. you did. You guys want to bet on that? Yeah. How much? Case of beer. Hmm. What kind of beer? Damn. Winner picks. Okay. That's a bet. We'll check as soon as we're done recording. Bam. So it's now your turn, sir. Now it's my turn. Pick a random number. Not three or seven. Oh, After no. you look at your yeah. list. <laughs> Turning the pages is going to make you forget. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tackle this one uh, because it's my pick. <clears throat> number five. Number five. Number five. I like it. Okay. 
Do you have you checked out all five videos? Yes. Okay. I, I did. My I know homework. we're we're familiar with them. I did my homework. So uh, Jay's going to set the bar for this one. Please do because he's yet to do that. Earth, Wind, and Ozzy. It was the first one I heard. I should probably number five is the best DJ Cummerbund video. <laughs> <clears throat> so my choice, <laughs> the Lampy for the best mashup. My choice would be Earth, Wind, and Ozzy's. Earth, Wind, and Ozzy, whatever it's called. Yep. It was the first video I seen of his, and it's the one that stuck with me. It's a good one. It it blends so nice. Yeah. Was that your pick then? No. Oh, okay. There's one that blended better. Oh. In this top five or, or outside this list? I just went with the top five that, okay. that you okay. presented. Okay. I went with the Lionel Richie and Kiss. Really? Yes. Yeah, that was good. That would be my second That was choice. a good one. That was just oh, perfect. I'm going to really throw a wrench in the system here for our third uh, award of the night. And I'm going to go with Soundgarden. Uh, no, no, Disturbed <laughs> and Stevie Wonder. Really? That yeah. was good, too. Yeah, I'm going to go with okay. that one. <clears throat> That's okay. Not just because it makes a three-way tie, but because I liked it the best. Shout out to Seal and Soundgarden for Kiss from a Rose. Yeah, <laughs> so how are we going to split up this tie? You want to flip another bottle cap? This is tricky Let's here. Let's flip two. <laughs> hmm. We're going to have to come up with some kind of solution here. I think we should have thought of this before the show started. Probably, but we're you here know. now. Yeah. All right. Uh, Are you willing to change your vote? I have an easy way to do it. Okay. Let's hear it. So, on a six-sided die, mm-hmm. you just break it up like one and two is someone's pick, three and four is someone's pick, five and six is someone's pick. Okay. And we just roll a die. Or use an app to roll a die. Okay. I was going to say, because I don't have a die. Oh, you know what? I don't. What was the name of that app that I had? That narrows it down. <laughs> where, I was, <laughs> where you put your we used it for magic. You put your fingers down. Yeah, that was great. Do I right? don't remember. I got a new phone. All right, let me grab it. That's a way easier way to do it. Think so? So how the app works is the screen will come up, then it'll go three, two, one, and at one everyone puts their finger on the screen. Uh huh. And everyone's assigned a different color. Like, I would be blue, you'd be orange, he'd be red. Okay. And a little circle will go around each of our fingers, and it'll only pick one. And then that color will take over the screen. Let's do it. Motherfucker. Give me just one second. Oh, we got time. I think that's cool that we're on Spotify now. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. awesome. We are on Spotify. That was the one that we were waiting on, right? Forever. Yeah, for a while. We're, we're on everything Truthfully, else. Truthfully, we didn't believe we could get on it. And then it came we out were, of nowhere. We were worried about it, actually. It's bananas. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> I know, right? Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, also, while he's looking up this app, we want to say, um, please stick with us going into season two. We got some excellent guest spots coming up real yes, soon. Yes, we do. Um, we are running a charity right now for my hair. Well, we're not running a charity. We're not running a charity. How do we... We're yeah. running a... Donation thing. Well, fundraiser. Fundraiser. There you go. That's the word I was looking a for. A donation thing. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> right. A fundraiser to keep my hair growing. Yes. And uh, it's through Project Scissorgate Foundation with our good friend Marty. He's running the the foundation, doing big things. We're Very. happy to help out. Hopefully we can raise a lot of money. And in return, I'm just going to grow my hair forever. As long as we hit those goals. As long as we hit those goals. The first goal is New Year's Day. Yep. We're aiming for $250. It seems obtainable. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. I haven't well, you hope an so update. to make the money. You don't hope so because it'll have to keep the hair. Yeah, I want to cut my hair. Yeah. So. I looked at a picture that is on our website. Mm-hmm. If you look at the bios page. Yeah. And it has you and Aaron on there. Yeah. And you had freshly trimmed short hair. And then looking back at the... Gargantuan and fro you have. <laughs> the block party. Yeah. I don't think you've cut it since. No, no, it's been over a year. Yeah. Yeah, since I cut my hair. That's why I say I'm ready to go, man. <laughs> it's I'm done with it. But if you people want me to keep it, I will under one condition. All right. All right, so we got the app. <clears throat> Stretching out your I know, right? Are you trying to win or what? <laughs> <clears throat> We just all touch at the same time right now. Just You're the winner. That's me. 
So, the Lampy for the best DJ Cummerbund video goes to Disturbed and Stevie Wonder. It's a solid Yay. pick. Golf clap. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Back to Aaron. Mm-hmm. All right, so three, five, seven are all gone. Yep. Yes. Let's go with number... Okay, wait. Before you pick... 9, 10, 11. 9, 10, 11 are already predetermined. 13. 13. This, yep. Which is the CHC overall badass award. Who's setting the bar here? Aaron, I think you should go first. Mine is a dark horse pick. Oh, shit. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Mine is Mad Mike Hughes. For overall badass? For badass award? He built a fucking rocket himself and shot himself into the sky and okay. survived. Okay. I've known people that fall off of houses, but I wouldn't give them a badass award. It, it's a shot at him, but That's he true. went a little bit higher than a house. This it is true. It's definitely a Dark Horse nomination. It is. Wow, I did not see that I, coming. I, For him to trust a homemade built rocket. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps if he was trusting someone else's homemade rocket. Then he wouldn't have been a badass. True, and he did run for governor of California. That's true. <clears throat> he did this himself. That's true. Fought the government on it. And shot himself into the sky when I, we all thought he was going to blow himself up. I have been curious if the wildfires affected him or not yet. But that's side note. Um, okay. All so, right. Mad Mike Hughes. All right. Badass it's award. definitely an underdog dark horse pick. It is. Mm. I don't know if my nomination is going to top it. Mm. Let's hear it. Uh, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> He was almost the person I want to find me when I die, too. Yeah? Yeah, he was going to get a twofer. Oh. But I was like, yeah, I'm going to split huh. it up. I don't know. I just think the guy's a badass. All right. He's goofy enough. Wow. Yeah? You got one and one A. What are you... <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? This wasn't going the way you planned it? No, it, none of this has gone the way I <laughs> thought out. Like, oh, they'd probably pick someone like this. And you're just like, aliens! <laughs> that right there was... <laughs> The stick in the spoke through the, the night. Off. <laughs> Just He's like whoop. badass. I don't know Hogan on the NWO reunion, huh? Nothing. I'm blank now. It's blanked. You have to at least pick an answer. The one point five million pissed off penguins Ooh. that were found Ooh. out of nowhere. Ooh, nicely done. All right. Hmm. Going with a group mentality here. Yeah, I didn't say aliens. It wasn't that broad of a stroke. At least mine was narrowed down to one point five billion. <laughs> On this planet. <laughs> I'm gonna submit that my pick is void right now, but one of you two has to win. Then you have to choose. That is true. You are now the tiebreaker. Can I flip a bottle cap? <laughs> if you want. We, we can do the finger. The finger thing worked out well. It would just be me and Aaron. Yeah, I'm going to let you guys choose that way because it right. seems to be the fair way to go here. Fucking mad Mike Hughes. I huh? think. Or 1.5 million penguins. Uh huh. Fuck. And the winner is 1.5 million pissed off penguins. I like it. Original. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Have any of your picks won yet, Aaron? No, fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, we keep leaving it to chance. I mean... It, it's fine. As soon as we're all done, I'm just going to ask for a recount. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Episode 5 of Season 2. <laughs> <clears throat> we finally got the Lampies solved. What would be, what, 59? Yeah. Yeah. 1.5 million asshole penguins. Asshole penguins. I like it, it, it with the intro. Yeah. It, it fits. It does. It fits. So does my, Mad I Mike mean, Hughes for that matter. And we've talked about like how many penguins could you take in a fight. That's true. If your life depends. I mean, that's pretty badass. That's true. We have a little teaser for season two. We're going to get a pinwheel, and anytime a guest comes on, we're going to spin it, and there'll be different things on there that 
they got to talk about guest like, questions. Yeah, Mad yeah. Mike Hughes. Mad Mike Hughes is probably one of them. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's say we do uh, one more and then go into the beer of the week. Sounds good. Okay. All right, whose pick is it? Jay? Number four. The most disappointing story that we've discussed (laughs) here on the show. I have a decent one. I'm pretty sure we're all in agreement on it, too. Yeah, it's... Go ahead. Set that bar, sir. (laughs) So earlier in the year, we heard that... What was it? Six young people. Yes. Yep. Was it Kansas? Yep. Yep. From the great state of Kansas, were submitting themselves to run for governor, since Kansas didn't actually have any laws for age restriction. It was like two or three sixteen-year-olds, a seventeen, couple uh, eighteen. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it was all right in there. Yeah. And I was very excited about this, and as the months went on, nothing. You didn't hear anything. Kansas newspapers, television stations didn't report on it. Nope. Didn't hear anything. Didn't see them at the primaries. It just kind of fizzled out, and I was really disappointed by that. News break. I have the results for you. Uh oh. They didn't win. (laughs) If you want, if you want to leave it at that, that's fine. No, go. No, I I know they didn't win. The reason they were not in the governor. Results were they had to win the primaries. That's what I said. I didn't see them in the primaries. How do you think they did? <clears throat> Not well. They vote for each other. So <laughs> obviously they ran for parties. Yeah. Out of the hundred percent, what do you think the highest percent? Seventeen vote. Seventeen percent. That's my guess. The highest percent of like who, which one got the highest percent? Yes. Seventeen. Not, would that's make pretty high. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say three. Very close. So, we had three run as Republicans. Yep. Was four. One, I think, switched to Libertarian. He did. Yeah. He, he complained about the Republican uh, Party not letting him put his viewpoints out there and get his message out, so he switched. Okay. So, three Republicans. Tyler, Joseph, and Dominic. Dominic was not listed because he got less than a half a percent. Okay. That's still pretty good, though, out of the whole state of Kansas. Joseph... And being a kid. <laughs> ...got 1,535 <clears throat> votes, a okay. half a percent. Tyler got 2,241% of the Republican... Percent? I'm votes. sorry, votes. Okay, I was going to be like, then he yeah, won no, like right. 80,000 <laughs> times over? He won three states. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll Thank leave, you, Wyoming! I'll leave that in. Point seven percent Okay. Did, didn't do very well on the Republican side. No. The Democratic side only had one of these young men, Jack Bergenson. He got 3,874 votes for 2.5% of the Democratic vote for the wow. state. That's nothing to laugh at. No. no. Then you had um, Green Party Aaron Coleman and Libertarian Ethan. Uh, Ethan's the one that jumped from the Republicans. Mm-hmm. Both of them ran a write-in campaign. Uh. Yeah, didn't didn't turn out Swing so well. Miss. How old was the kid that ran on the Democratic Party? I think he was uh, one of the 17s. 17 year old. Sounds right. Man, imagine what he's going to do 10 years from now. Two and a half percent. He's already got two and a half percent running for I'm governor. Like the next highest, yeah. the the, the um, outside of these, he finished uh, fifth. Oh wow! Fourth was 8.4 percent. It's not too far off. Not really, no. no. For a, he's for a, a kid. kid. Yeah. He's, a high school kid. Uh, I, yeah. Now, imagine the people that run campaigns, right? Do you think they were like, I'm going to bookmark this kid right here? Oh, yeah. I think so. Of course. I think so, too. They'll probably start him off small, like he, city council. He or, had to have do, done that all on his own. I mean, he, well, he not had people all on helping. his own, but not on a he like, didn't grand have scale. A chief, like, chief of staff that's yeah. a Democratic strategist. No. Like, he might have had some friends, like, campaign for him, like, go out flyers. Do stuff but that's like a that, solid but... turnout. Yeah, that's I mean, pretty it's good. It's just the same as any college football team going after a, you know some high school junior high kid that can run. Yeah, circles around all the competition and yeah. shit. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. I believe they're they're tapping Kudos into to him. him. I thought you'd appreciate the results. I appreciate that. I do. Okay, so that was a whole lot of information just based on his nomination. Is it fair to say 
we're on the same page with the most disappointing story. I thought that story. was a winner speech. Yeah. Um, well, okay. Yeah. Then. <laughs> All right. And the winner is the Kansas governor's race from earlier this year. The Kansas kids. Good luck for you. The Kansas six. That's what we'll call them. <laughs> were there six? <laughs> there were. Okay. Just want to make sure there wasn't seven, and we're like, well, fuck you, wah, Tony. Wah. All right. <laughs> All right. So, from there, let's uh, let's go into the beers. Plural of the week. I figure you should probably do at least one of them, Aaron, since you picked up both brews. All right, I'll do the champion, which I guess we should taste prior to talking about. Oh Damn, yeah, probably. Why. Already, it's way better than the red. As far as label goes, it's not bad either. It's so basic that it's, it's nice. It's what you need, yeah. Simplicity. Don't overdo it. What are those called? Uh, reefs. Reefs, yeah. So the reason I chose it was this being an award show. Yes. This was the only can I could find that hmm. looked like a celebration, an award. So it is from what's the brewery, Jay? Brewery Vivant. Vivant. And it's Champion Brute. So I reached out to them prior to the show just to try and get a little bit of information Mm. about this here beverage. The most information I could find is that it's a dry IPA featuring Amarillo and Citra hops. And real quick on the side of the can, 1% of sales benefit local charities. Shout out to that. Awesome. We are a big fan of that shit. Yeah. no, Kudos to you for picking a good one without even knowing it. Oh, I knew it. Oh, the charity thing? You no, already it knew was that? a good one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. You can tell. It's called Champion. Touche. How could it be bad? So they are a Grand Rapids brewery out in a farmhouse. And this Champion Brute is a further exploration of how hops react with different brewing methods. It's a super dry, and it shows off how the yeast and the enzymes interplay with the late edition hopping. It's delicious. It's rather tasty. It's light. It's crisp. <clears throat> so I'm they, enjoying it. So the article that they sent me um, said that the Champion Brute lacked the syrupy mouthfeel and sweetness, but exuded seemingly more tropical hop aroma, which carried over into the flavors. While slightly thinner, Champion also seemed easier on the palate, and just like with Champagne, Champion Brute's Everessence offer, offers a very refreshing drinking experience. Next time, you can read it if you want to correct yeah. me. <clears throat> no, I'm having like I can say it in my head, but I keep I'm having trouble. Susan, hit, hit your <laughs> lips. Your like, lips. Blah, 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 yeah, blah. It's too busy. Like, For me, it's brewery. 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 I always get, yeah. Drawings. But it's, good selection. Yeah, it was very tasty. It is a very good beer. Cheers to it. It's light, crisp, bubbly. Has a wee bit of that IPA citrus feel, mm-hmm. but not overwhelming. More of an aroma. There you go. I can read. This other brew. This is one we've never had before. You know why? Why? I do that? know why. It's because it is a new beer. Brand new. Just came out. There are no ratings on Untapped. So we're the first. Presumably. Boom. Oh, it's going to be so sweet. Oh, there's... <laughs> A few now. It just oh, okay. <laughs> didn't update. Sorry. So, this one's called Melisandre from City Built Brewing. They're out of Grand Rapids. Funny. It's a nano brewery. <laughs> it's, a, it's a red IPA with Mackinac hops, caramel malt. The beer is red and full of hops. That is the description. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally what it says. See, on the can it says, making the strange familiar and the familiar fresh and bold. And it's a very simple can. It's very nice. Very clean. Mm-hmm. I, I good bet design. You, I, I bet would you, assume that's Grand Rapids silhouette. Yeah. On the side. It's a good bet. Good I, bet. I would believe someone with as artistic of a background as you, Jason... Really like the way they laid out the simplicity and the the two colors. Very much so. Well, they play well together, and you got yeah, <clears throat> it's very nice. Without like going into like 
Well, what they did. Well, you can. We'll just edit it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so because we're doing an award show, this we have two beers to choose Ooh, from. Champion. Yeah? Champion. Yeah, me too. An award show. Yeah. So out of the two, we prefer <laughs> Champion Brewed by Brewery Vivant. Yes. It's very tasty. Highly recommended. We also recommend <laughs> Farting and <laughs> Melisandre from City Built Brewing. Yeah, no no slight to Melisandre. Oh, no, it's no, a good beer. All. It was tasty. They're both 7% too, huh? Yeah. <sighs> look out now. I don't look at numbers when I pick beer. This is true. We didn't do that for the longest time. What do you suppose the little stars See, on the side are this, for? The not How lo- many uh, Dundies they're going to win tonight? <laughs> the not looking at the percentage the of alcohol content is a throwback to, to episode the, to the three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bring it a full circle. I, I see what you did there. This is what I it do. It was well thought out without being <laughs> thought out. The show didn't get this big without that kind of that <laughs> commitment. Kinda, that's right. I'm in it. I'm. I'm. When I'm here, I'm all in. Okay. Well, when you take six months off and then come back firing on three within we, like weeks, boom, we boom, boom. It. Yeah, you got to bring it hard. That's right. So I think uh, since we talked about this week's beer choices. I think we should get into the two questions, or the two categories we have. I like it. All one right. or two. Pick one. I'm going to say two. Number two. The coolest Michigan craft beer label. Um, I will say this Champion Brute is pretty sweet. It is cool. It's well designed. It's nice. It's very well thought out for tonight. I might shift. It no, might get a spot on the shelf. Shift no dignity into third. Mm-hmm. Put this one in fourth. Okay, so maybe fifth. Does that mean amber ale's getting uh, bopped down to fifth? I would probably push amber ale. Um, if one of them's got to go, yep, I'm gonna probably take amber ale off the shelf. Ooh, I like Clover Rover, and all the other ones stand alone. Maybe Uncle Steve's could come off if you'd rather have amber ale. I'm just a fan of birds. Yeah, I know. You know what? Let's just I would, add. I would let's take, just add another one without would, taking one off. I got off. two for you. What's that? Brooms. Birds. Oh, hey oh, that's the Instagram picture. <laughs> <laughs> or the or Snapchat. Snapchat. Yeah. I was gonna say we're on Snapchat too. So, all right. So, what would be your vote? Can, okay. Can I give you my top three? Fuck yeah. I'm not gonna include the champion brute. That What's, might go in for next season. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's. Oh, that's the off, front runner, starting off strong. Season front runner two. of season that two. That was my question. Okay. Whether whether it was going to be, I say it starts off strong. Season two. All right. I agree. Sounds good. <clears throat> my question is: Do we keep tonight's winner carry Up over there? as like the bar, and then we have to try and because this would be number two, and then we go from there, or do we just mm. start I think he clean may get, slate? That shelf might get cleaned, but the winner might get a special place. Retire it. Studio. Yeah, retire, retire it somewhere it. else. Okay. I, I don't think it can carry over. Okay. Yeah. So, my top three, mm-hmm. in no particular order, um, Power of Love. Really? Shorts Brewery. <laughs> wow, okay. Fontina. Oh, he's picking all the dark horses, folks. Shorts Brewery. And The Half, Frankenmuth Brewery, which we've teased over and over and over again. You should have seen that coming, but I'll well, leave it at that. Yeah. So, those are my three. Aaron? If you would like to uh, take a look at the shelf, unless you already know. Oh, he oh, he was over there, secret ballot, dude. I Ooh. couldn't see I was shit. told to pick one. You can pick three. Mm. Fuck, John's so been I picking, didn't like, realize a whole it was list. a threefer. It was just I narrowed it down to those three. He usually does do a top three. Yeah, top I got five. three. You're lucky I didn't have five in my list. I, so, this is very you know, true. Yeah. You're like, yeah, there's my list. It's on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's the list, right. Uh, all right. Of, of those choices, I would also list Power of Love. Not the taste, the label. <laughs> I'm sorry. You say the beer, I imagine what it tastes mm-hmm. like first before I think mm-hmm. of the can. The fourth one from the left. The Goonies, No Dignity. No yeah. Dignity. Uh, hazy IPA from uh, Pigeon Hill Brewing. I mean, it's Chunk doing the trouble it's, shuffle. Yeah, I mean, right. How can you Classic. go wrong? And El Dancarino. Mm. Mm. It's the mm. second one from the left, correct? Yep. Correct. Yeah. Hmm. Those are my three. I just had to point out, he didn't even pick the half. I did not. That's crazy. I noticed that. That's crazy. My number one is the half. The half. My number two is the 
Amber L from Bell's Brewery. He likes birds, folks. It's a true story. Whew. And my number three is No Dignity. Did No Dignity get p- picked by both of you? Nope. No. So just Power of Love and Half, correct? Got two votes? No, the Half got three. No, no the Half no. got two. No Dignity Power of Love got, got, two. got two. No Dignity got two. Yep. Those are the three that we have to... Uh, Narrow it down for Can, Those it, are our top three. Okay, folks. wait. <laughs> before we do this finger picking the winner thing here. Yeah. Sounds kind of dirty when you say it like yes, that. Yes, it does. Radio. I just realized that. Um, we have picked the half all Every. year. Aaron hasn't been here for those shows. I know. Apparently, he doesn't appreciate a fucking slick ass wiener dog wearing a smoking jacket. It was from episode two. Smoking a pot. Oh, I remember. He was right. there. Let's was do house. this. I'm Power of Love. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we have to pick, don't we? Oh, are we doing it like that? Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> Once he said it, I was like, "Yeah, no, that. Yeah, that's probably not how we have to do it." Who do you want to be, John? It's like playing Monopoly. You want to be the thimble or the boat? Why well, didn't car, I didn't pick no dignity? So I'm not going to represent it. Okay, then fucking don't represent. So I get it. the half. You get the fucking half, and you get no dignity. Yeah. All right. Sounds right. All right. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I, the half doesn't it, win. I know it's. It's, it's going to feel fair. dirty. It's not fair. Ah! <laughs> wow. Ah. Power of love. Power of love. And the pity vote goes to. <laughs> I, feel, I feel. Robbed. Yeah. I'd... Robbed. This is like the end of Tony Vasek's DMT story. You just feel empty a little yeah. bit. But I, I would like to it's thank all fair. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Shorts <laughs> Brewing. <laughs> Shorts Brewing. I'm okay with it because it was in my top three. So, Wow. It wasn't. No. I feel I feel dirty. I feel that the lampies have been sullied. I'm gonna go on record. <clears throat> Asterix. <laughs> That's the Barry Bonds of lampy picks. You, if you want to choose your vote on the aliens, I can choose my vote Uh-oh. on the power of love. We're I flipped a deals. bottle cap, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we we all fingered for it. <laughs> Folks, they're trading draft picks over here. That's what's going on. <laughs> all right. Wow. To Frankenmuth Brewery, we apologize. Well, at least mm. one third of us apologize. You know what? I, Fair and square. Yep. Whew. Power would, of love, baby. If that was the first award that we chose by fingering his phone, <laughs> then I would have a protest. But we've done it multiple times so far, so this is true. It holds Don't up. Don't turn court. it back now. Mm-mm. The power of love. You know what? The half. We might still have to retire somewhere in the studio alongside the Power of Love, just for honorable mention, because yeah, all silver year, medals. all year. We will have the winner shelf and the participation <laughs> yep, shelf. Yep, <laughs> definitely. Okay. You know what? I don't know what. I'm not going to say it right now. I'll save it for after the show. I was going to say chicken buck, but I refrained. Okay. So that leads us to the best tasting Michigan craft beer that we've had on that the show. we've sampled on the show. Hmm. This one's going to be a little trickier for you, Aaron. He's missed out. You've quite missed a bit. out on quite a few. Yes. So your picks are going to be a little uh, dated. A little bit. They're all going to be filled with the power of love. <laughs> I dare you to pick that one. <laughs> right. Jay, would you like to set the bar for this, or you want me? I to? I would. Okay. Actually. All right. Uh, should be fresh on the mind since we had it last week. Mm-hmm. Potter's Porter. Really? From Black Rocks okay. Brewing. All right. Snuck in late in the game to take my number one spot. Whoa. Number two would be El Dankarino. Number three, I'm going to have to go with, uh, from the mighty Saugatuck Brewing Company, Bonfire Brown. A lovely brown ale. Highly recommend. I've heard that one's highly recommended. This is going to be a tricky pick here. It's delicious. <laughs> <clears throat> Second, I, I'll clean up. Okay, um, I went with uh, number three, power of love. No. Number two, the power of love, and number one, <laughs> the power of love. No, the half. <laughs> um, number three, I went with uh, Pharisee's Dry Stout from Arbor Brewing Company. Delightful. That was a tasty beverage. Number two, Bonfire Brown, Saga Talk, and number one, El Dankarino. So, so how many duplicates do we have so far? Two, two. Saga Tuck and El Dankarino, which so, I don't believe you were around for either. No. So my first choice would be Jarrett's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I did enjoy that one. 
Second choice will be a Manhattan oil change. A Manhattan oil change? No, that was not. the name of the episode. That was the yeah. name of the episode. Uh, time just, for an oil change. Time. Stout. Stout. Time for Imperial oil. Stout. Yeah. <clears throat> Pez's Brew. Pez's Brew. That was delicious. Yeah. It was fantastic. Can't believe you guys just didn't like that. It's so bad. Sorry, Pez. I we're, feel bad. We're waiting for the CHC themed beverage. We are. And my third would probably be Final Absolution. <laughs> that was before my time, folks. Oh, yeah. I should probably change that. No, no, that's perfectly fine. It's from episode two? Three. Three. Oh. The lost episode. See, does that one actually <laughs> count then? If, I mean. The old dragon's mead. It was fantastic. Okay, so so I have to I have to pick one more. No, we're no 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 no. no we're at a wall here. We got Bonfire Brown from Sagatuck. We got El Dankarino from Oddside Ales, and then we need to throw Pez's beer in there. I agree. Three way tie. I agree. Finger for it. <laughs> we're gonna have to because if we let Aaron pick, he's gonna pick Pez's brew, and I don't because there was two each. I don't know yeah. if that's fair. So I say we just go with the okay. the so finger. I would say Aaron should be time for an old chain stout. Yep. All right. <clears throat> I'll take uh, Dankarino. I'll be Bonfire Brown. And go. Bonfire Brown from Saugatuck Brewing. Bonfire Brown. I'm going to give second place. What? Oh, yeah. There it is. Sorry. That one was a little well, delayed. Holding, we had to, we had to that force one that one out. Yeah. <clears throat> I was making my check mark. Sorry, guys. Checking it twice. We'll give second place to uh, Time for an Oil Change from Pez. I agree. El Dankarino. Danks. Number three. I like it. Okay, where are we at here? We, what have, do we have left. One, two, three that need to be decided and four that are already set. Okay. You want to blow through a couple that are already set real quick? We should get them out of the way. Okay. Let's go with uh, number nine, our first bracket winner. Nine. Back in March. March Madness. Yep. Yeah. A little after that, but it was it was towards the end of March when it started. Yeah. (laughs) It started in March. (laughs) That's all that counts. That was our uh, trial run, but it worked out nice. I've enjoyed it. I think our uh, followers have enjoyed it as well. Our CHC. Best comedy movie bracket winner was Super Troopers. Thank you to everybody that voted, shared the polls, all that good shit. And next year, we're going to do a comedy movie bracket part two, where we're going to take the top four from the final four, and they're all going to get the top four seeds in uh, the brackets. Okay. And then we'll draw brand new 15 movies per bracket for that one. That'll probably be our second or third bracket next year, season two. Yeah. Sounds good. Yep, definitely. <clears throat> <laughs> then the next one was our uh, second bracket winner this year, the best video game. That one was a tough bracket to do. That one got down to some serious heavy hitters there at the end. It did, I, yeah. And I, I will say this, at least for me and Jay, I don't know about you, I haven't kept up on your brackets, but ours went to shit quick. Very quick. Every time we did these damn brackets. <laughs> we were like, there's no way people could pick this one. Right. Fuck you, Zelda, why are you in the final round? <laughs> I, I just don't understand why XCOM didn't win. Well. Do <laughs> you want us to break it down for you in detail? or <laughs> As a player two of that game for most of my life, I can tell you. That there's probably a large amount of people that haven't really played XCOM. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I, I know how much you love it because I was there the whole time waiting for my turn. <laughs> just watching and waiting. But I would think... But don't you remember that first time you saw a snake man? No, I don't. <laughs> I remember sitting down, waiting for my turn, and then going to bed. Then going downstairs... For my turn the next day, and you're still playing. Every time this comes up, every time you keep forgetting to mention how many times your character kept dying on the scouting missions. I don't recall that because I was sleeping. He just named your character, Jason. <laughs> I got That's all. No, was. I got to name the character. <laughs> oh well, okay. That was my Each time. That was my. He was like, "All right, yeah, sure. We'll just." I'm, I'm when he gets my character crew. four or five, you're like, "All right, name, give me and a name." As he's going, he'd be like, "No, no. See, that was your turn. Your guy's going way out there." 
That was his. Uh, he found the aliens. He was pretty bitter. <laughs> well, you know, I missed out on a lot of games. I did enjoy watching some of the games that you played, though, for a very short period of time because they were like, wow. Like the first time you got. F- Can't wait for my turn. Yeah, the first time you got <laughs> Fallout. That was amazing. That was amazing. Just to watch. I'm like, wow, this game just. You can do anything. And you're like, yeah, I can. <laughs> I did. He did too. Uh, watching you play the first Grand Theft Auto, where it was the overhead view. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that vividly. Watching. <laughs> but for all the listeners, he did get to play some games. Twisted Metal. This is true. I did get to play Twisted I, Metal. I'm we, sure any wrestling game. I'm we sure. did <laughs> have two player games. Right. Yes. But it was. They just weren't the good ones. No, there were some <laughs> great ones. River City Ransom. Oh, come Ooh. on. That is amazing. It's the better version of Double Dragon for those that don't know. Sh- shout yep. out to Chris and Luke. That was the only place I ever got to play that game. Yeah. <clears throat> I would like to jump in real quick and say the, uh, you know how they did the throwback Nintendo that you can get in plug and play where it yeah. gets preloaded? Yeah, I got one in the house. Yeah. Yep. PlayStation's doing it with the original PlayStation. I heard that. Twisted yeah. Metal is on there. Yeah. So is Crash Bandicoot, I believe. Yeah, there's a bunch yeah. of great games. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. It's probably going to sell out really quick around the Christmas time, but mm-hmm. uh, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on one. I'm in. Let's pull funds. We'll get one for the studio. So who is the disputed winner of the video game? Yeah, bracket? we should get back to the oh, I know, right. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Quite the tangent we just stumbled Super out. Mario Kart. Super Mario Kart. That's a do solid do. choice. I've wasted a lot of hours on that game. Yeah. I still do. When was the last time you played it? <sighs> Me? Last, last my, month. Mine was two weeks ago. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm still fucking awesome at that game, just so you know. My son would like to uh, give you a run for your money. Ooh, That's what I, I feel a CHC tournament coming on. I'll accept his Super challenge. Super Mario Kart tournament. Oh. I'm not all about the new Wii one that he's into, too. Oh, He enjoys that. That'll even the playing field. He's good at that. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to select a system to yeah. play the tournament on, but I'm sure we can fill a tournament with Mario what, Kart right, what if we, We'll go what with if the we six-year-old do, listen, and choose listen, the Wii. What if well, we do that? We can do uh, the Wii, best two out of three, right? One right. we do on the Wii, one we do on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, he's fluent with that. And then one on the GameCube, Double Dash. He's never touched a GameCube. <laughs> Welcome to my world, kid. So he knows two, I know two. He's you, played, better, you better he, get him on it. He's played Double Dash. He's played Double Dash? Yeah. But not on the GameCube. You, said he, you just said he never played on the GameCube. Correct. All right. So as okay. long as it's the Double Dash version, you're good. No, on the GameCube. That's why I said GameCube. The GameCube Double Dash version. <laughs> Super Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> the challenge has been issued. We'll get to. We'll get back to it later. All right, and then the Check last back for season two. Folks. <laughs> right, the last. See if I get uh, beat by a six year old. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. The last bracket we did this year was uh, our best horror movie bracket. I enjoyed that one. Well, I enjoyed all of them, but... That one, we had a new website feature. It was the awesome. Bracket predictions. We really went out with that one. We that set was that a good up one. Enough. Yeah. Hell yeah. Next year is going to be fantastic for uh, our brackets, I yep. think, because all of that. Should we let the audience in on who the winner was? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we should do that right now. <clears throat> Not of, like, the bracket, but, like, the competitor... Right. Yeah. All right, as long as we're on the same page. It was your well, we, sister-in-law. The official winner was my sister-in-law, mm. Ashley. Shout out. Way to pick a bracket. Whoop, whoop. Unfortunately, <laughs> John screwed up really big time. There, there was how we stepped it up this year kind of messed me up. It messed me up, too. Yeah. <laughs> We introduced the Twitter poll. Yes, we combined votes. And Patreon. And Patreon. And Patreon. For, Aaron, would you like to fill us in yeah. on the blanks here? I think you were Come the on. best person to... Come on, let, it, let us have it. So there I was. <laughs> so with the new website, <laughs> we enter the combined tally of votes between Facebook and Twitter. Which and worked, Patreon. And, and Patreon. Patreon <laughs> which, which are worth double. They're double. So everybody should join Patreon. Please get your bonus votes. We got other benefits coming soon too that are pretty sweet. 
Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of content oh. coming to Patreon here for uh, the next 2019. We'll circle, we'll circle back to that here yes. in a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> so, as long as we tally up all the votes from Twitter and Facebook, we get the legit winner. Which worked out <laughs> fine. All the way up All until... All the way up until <laughs> the final? I thought it was semifinals. Semifinals. Oh. It was the semifinals. Yeah, it was the semifinals. The semifinal winners. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Where Poltergeist did not win their matchup. According to us, CHC. On Facebook. Which on Facebook <laughs> threw me through a little bit because I was entering it and noticed it was different than what was posted of the actual winner because <laughs> the Twitter poll was not counted, which swung the vote. The Twitter poll was overlooked. We missed we misplaced some ballots. That one's on me, y'all. <laughs> it was one of the few Twitter polls that were very lopsided. Most of them, much like Facebook, were very close. Very yep. close. This one was lopsided and affected in in Poltergeist's favor, and when you tallied them up, it swung the vote from what the bulk of the Facebook had as the winner, once you had it in Twitter, would have been Poltergeist. Mm. And once that went on to the finals... You lost. Because that did not go on to the finals, I lost. But if that would have went on to the finals... So the long and short of it is, it should have been Halloween versus Poltergeist, yes. in which case Aaron won bragging rights for our prediction poll. Right? That is correct. John screwed up, put Halloween versus uh, Friday the 13th. Yes. And that triggered a separate winner. Yes. In all reality, you wouldn't have accepted the prize for the win. Correct. It was all bragging rights. All bragging rights. So we would like to award the CHC Lampy for bragging rights 2018 to you, sir. Oh, surprise Lampy. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> that one was for you. That's for you, sir. So now every time I visit, you can introduce me as... The Lampy Award winning. Yes. Oh, nice. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, we got a couple of those. We got to make notes of that. Yeah. I forgot about that. For those, Basic? Those, mm-hmm. those that are connected on my LinkedIn, it will be up there. <laughs> <laughs> Under skills. Lampy Award winner. DJ Cummerbund, if you ever come on our show. Achievements. <laughs> You'll be awarded. Lampy Award winner. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's an interview question right there. That's something for the resume. I don't have one. It's true. I don't have one either. Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, thanks for being. I'm uh, not going to lie. That about it. bugged me. Well, so you, know, bad. you picked a solid bracket. You should get you know recognized for it. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he already got a T-shirt. So it's on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Check the mailbox. All right, back to the lampies. Back to the lampies. We've got one, two. I thought we had three. Three left. that need to be decided. Okay. One that's set in stone. Aaron, you're on deck. I'm on deck. Number six. We need the Lampy Award winner. Eight to 12 pick or 14. We'll do six. That is three times three. No. Okay. Th- three plus three. Yeah. Because there's no three nine. And three. There's no nine. There's Close. 12. The, this was our tribute to the Dundies by referencing Michael <laughs> Scott, <laughs> character on The Office. Yeah. The best Michael Scott alternate character uh-huh. from The Office. Jay, you're first. I'm going to go ahead and say Date Mike. Date Mike. Date Mike. What were the choices? All right, so... The listeners should know what what we're choosing from Here's what we uh, broke it down to. So the first one was Michael Scarn, then Prison Mike, Michael Klump, Date Mike, Caleb Crawdad, Michael the Magic, Ping... Mykonos, and Blind Guy McSqueezy. For all of you that don't follow The Office, do yourself a favor. Please. Start watching that on the Netflix there. Um, okay, so you picked Date Mike. All right. You want to go next or third? I'm all right. third. I'm, I'm going to go with Prison Mike. That's my pick. <laughs> Solid choice. Yep. So I am not a watcher of The Office. No. I've watched maybe three episodes Okay. just recently. So I had to go and YouTube video all of these. To you had to research. I yeah, did. I had put to put some time. work into it. The three, I narrowed it down to of oh, all those. Your top three? Top three. Ping. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid, it's funny. Yeah. 
which many the, of the things. the scene makes it funny yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Which is Michael Scott? Yeah, Prison Mike. Mm. That, that's a good one, <laughs> bitch. I'm just trying to scare you, <laughs> scare you straight. <laughs> and date Mike. Ah, my choice is date Mike. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I'm just happy. I agreed with such an office aficionado. Oh, hey. As Jason. I thought my randomness might <laughs> throw off. Jay's over here like Mike the Magic. Here. This, is the, <laughs> this is the vote I thought my randomness would throw off. <laughs> not the earlier ones. Not where we had the, the earlier ones. Not the most right. badass. <laughs> or the best label. Or the best label, yeah. Was, <laughs> geez. Jeez. Power of love. Unbelievable. Championship. Shout out. To date Mike. Wherever you are. Wherever you are, sir. Backwards hat. <laughs> the king. Go ahead. When he was like, wait, I'm on a date? Oh, I'll be right shit. back. Sir, get off the pool table. <laughs> All right, we're winding down here, folks. The Lampies are coming to an end. We have three categories left. Jay, 8, 12, or 14? 12. Okay, number 12. The least common sense award. For 2018. That's an easy one. I'm going to go ahead and nominate Mad Mike Hughes. Second. Third. Uh, oh, well, that was a quick one. <laughs> <laughs> As Aaron stated earlier, the man willingly shot himself in the air in a homemade rocket. I thought he had a shot at being the first two. The double up? The double lamp yeah. award winner. Well, it was uh, close. We fingered in the penguins. <laughs> fingered in the penguins. It sounds dirty. But of <clears throat> of all the Lampy winners, we may have to create a trophy and send it to him. Ooh. Mm. I'm in. I don't know. DJ Cumberbund could appreciate one, I think. We could send out a couple trophies. Shit. Let's do it. All right. Matt Mike Hughes, though, you're getting one for the least common sense award. Now, Which for way? me, it's because he believes the earth is flat. I mean, that's a part of it for me. What's the the main part? The main part? Is that it, or you got something bigger than that? He willingly shot himself in a homemade steam-powered rocket. <laughs> Which is both when, the when most badass and stupidest yeah, thing. It's badass because he survived. See, you agree. He's not the most badass. <laughs> Maybe it's that he owns four cats. Maybe it's that he drives a limo. Professionally. <laughs> Either way. Either way. Mad Mike Hughes, that's for you. <laughs> Goofy son of a gun. I'm just saying he couldn't stand up to 1.5 million asshole penguins. Probably not. No. No, no, no. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit number eight real quick. All right. Most downloaded episode of our show for the year. Episode 44, titled Robaz, with uh, our guest... Mr. Dick Pearson. Better known as Pez. Pez. Close second, though, number 40. The Guido has landed at 468. Very he almost true. got there. He was close. He was too shy <clears throat> to be shifty. So, unfortunately. <laughs> if only he had wore one more dress. One more. <laughs> Maybe season two will get him in another dress, and that'll, uh, that'll do some damage. Ooh, that was a good one for you, Pez. <laughs> All right. Are we on our final landing? This is it. Let me double check that. This is it. The most recent Lampy category as of yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe this might be the toughest one. I would think so. Mainly because we've thrown so many of these out there. Mm hmm. We literally forgot about them. Mm hmm. Which is why the two-year window eclipses us. Every fucking time. This Lampy is the best CHC trademark that we've come up with on the show. For those of you who have been following along, we've had quite a few. Very true. <clears throat> it's been fun. <laughs> Some interesting ones that we just yell out the word trademark and <laughs> hope that it sticks, you know. For those who have not been following along and are relatively new to our wonderful podcast... Randomly throughout our episodes and conversations, we'll come up with an odd or fun idea or something we find intriguing. Gems. Gems, in our mind. <laughs> and we'll just randomly, like you said, blurt out the word trademark. So this goes back 
through a good chunk of our episodes, and we went and picked our personal favorites of our trademarks. Yes. Aaron, you're first. Ouch. <laughs> Gotta set that bar. <laughs> well, I've listened to every episode. I do and not recall many of the trademarks. We've done a lot of episodes, and I don't recall a lot of the trademarks. <laughs> We're and all in the same boat here on not true. remembering I trademarks. Really tried to dig deep to some of the beginning episodes because we were throwing that around like crazy. Mm-hmm. And when I think back to the early episodes, I just think of the chicken and DUI on the horse, <laughs> <laughs> dragon's mead, you know, shit like that. I'm gonna go with Phil's two front sided shirt. I don't know how to word that. Yeah, instead of yeah. having a front and back, yes, it was a fronts. shirt that yeah. just has two fronts. So I'm going to go with that. No matter what way you put it on. That's my vote. You didn't have to worry. That's a solid pick. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Your pick was? The Blue Water Bridge Brewery as a name. Okay. And I guess since I cannot think of another. It would just be the tiebreaker. Even though I decided on the category. <laughs> You did pick the category. <laughs> this is true. We I'll, scrambled for a day trying to figure out. And I was like, this is the perfect category. Wow, we've thrown out so many of them, it's going to be so easy. that I, I didn't research this one. Nope. I just kept thinking, it'll it'll come to me. It'll, it'll, it'll come to me. It didn't. So let's go with... Hashtag CHC. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hashtag stumbling down the block. The two front... Shirt. Yeah. A shirt with two fronts. We'll give it to the loyal listener. And sometimes guest, Mr. Bill Fears. You, sir, have won a lampy. Yeah. We didn't even have to finger the phone for that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds dirty every time you say it. <laughs> I still try to think of another one. Nothing. Somebody right now is probably yelling at the radio oh, yeah. about some kind of trademark that we hollered out. I'm going to listen to this and yell at the radio because something too. will come to me after <laughs> that. As we stated many times before, it's a dead zone in our studio <laughs> for remembering anything we talked about. For your phone and your brain. <clears throat> Pretty much. It's just... But if you are one of those folks that are really upset right now after yelling at us because you just blurted out your favorite trademark idea we've had, mm-hmm. let us know. Hit us on the social media. Be like, hey, dumbasses, remember this one? Yeah, right. You forgot about X, Y, and Z. And we'd be like, oh, yeah. Damn it. But congratulations to uh, Mr. Phil Charette. Let's get them shirts in print. <laughs> right? That's right. CHC on one side and a bunch of penguins on the other. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Power of love. <laughs> oh, man, we could. We should tie everything into one Make like collage one shirt. One lampy shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. That would be. I, I'm gonna have mention- a backwards kanka hat on somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna on the penguin. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna mention it to our art director. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Noted. <clears throat> well, with that being said, I feel like it's a good time to call an end to season one. Who doesn't want to be found by aliens? <laughs> Me. Unless it's Bigfoot. If it's Bigfoot, I'm in. It's only if he's an actual interdimensional alien. Desert I'm hoping room. he crawls inside my body and uses me as the a puppet disguise. Yeah, like Men in Black. Yeah, an Edgar suit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Nice. He'd be very happy with the uh, minimal amount of hair you got going on in comparison. <laughs> <laughs> He'll feel right at home. He'd be like, "Oh, it's so cool outside." Ooh. It's all right. Come January 1st, I'm cutting my hair. Well, maybe. No, it's happening. It depends. You think we're going to raise enough? It all depends on the listeners. All right. And the followers. It's for a good cause. It is. Absolutely. Stay tuned. (laughs) Hopefully we'll get Marty in here shortly. All right. Well, if you guys tune in to episode 55, which is going to be the first episode of season two of mm-hmm. the Corner House Chronicles. The second chapter. The next step. We hope to see, hear from you. It's a cool feeling. Have you all follow along. We got cool brackets coming out next season. Bunch of guests. Bunch of guests. New guests. Fresh faces. Familiar faces. Brand oh. new website. That's right. Merchandise. All kinds of cool things. New logo. Jay, 
Nicely done, sir. Thank we're, you. We're stepping it all up. Everything, we're trying. Everything's going forward, which is a good thing. We're so, really enjoying doing this. Yes. And you guys are the reason we're doing this. So thank you for listening. Um, thank you to uh, Brewery Vivant. Brewery Vivant. And uh, what is this one? City Built. City Built Brewing, Brewing Company. Welcome to the scene, y'all. Glad to have you. Yep. Aaron, kudos. Good Picking choice. out some damn good beers there, sir. Appreciate it. The trick is just go 7% or higher. Mm. <laughs> I thought it was like, hey, that label looks cool. I'll pick that guy. How about 7 to 13? They go hand in hand. <laughs> <laughs> Once we get above 13, that's when, you know, things happen. <laughs> that's when episode three's happens. So we're told. Some know about that. Some don't. <laughs> Patreon only. Right. <laughs> You haven't, heard, totally like, you haven't heard that yet, have no, you? No, I'm not a Patreon member. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. Why, why am I a dick? <laughs> I've heard of it. In passing. In passing. Mumblings in the hallway. That's how we like to keep it. Yep. We might even have episode 15 for you next season, too. We don't know yet. 15A. Chris? Got to work out the logistics on that. Mm-hmm. What's up? To all our Lampy winners tonight. Which translated means congratulations on your win <laughs> in Minion. There you go. We'll uh, we'll see you soon, folks. Thank you.